is a reminder to make sure all of the animations you create for the regular NPC are core animations. If they're not core animations, then they won't work properly. If you need help creating animations, I put a link in the description. Open the animation editor and click on the NPC. Then create a new animation called Wave. Once you're finished, click on the three dots to and select Publish to Roblox. Then, hit the Submit button. Create a new animation. This animation will be any special type of animation you'd like to play during the dialogue. You can create one or multiple. I'm going to create a laughing animation for this tutorial. Once you're finished, click on the three dots to and select Publish to Roblox. Then, hit the Submit button. Create a new animation and name the animation idol. This animation will play during the dialogue, which doesn't require any special movements. You can make your idol animation whatever you want, I'm just going to make a simple animation for this tutorial. Once you're finished, click on the three dots to and select Publish to Roblox. Then, hit the Submit button. Open the client script in the top UI screen GUI. Then open your toolbox, go to My Animations, and find the animations that you just made. Now it's time for you to follow along with me. If you get confused, feel free to rewind the video or leave a comment below. Copy and paste the asset ID into the asset ID under the idle or talking animation part of the script. Copy the asset ID for your wave animation. For each wave animation part of the script, paste in the asset ID within the asset ID part of the script. Skip over the special or specific animation for now, we'll get to it after we finish inserting the idle and wave animation asset IDs. Paste your wave animation asset ID into the rest of the wave animation parts of the script. Remove the two dashes before the lines of code for the idle and wave animations. script, you can specify what dialogue prompt you want your special or specific animation. First, 
remove the two dashes before the following lines of code. Go to the info script within your NPC. I'm going to have the special animation play for dialogue, or, however you can have your animation play for any dialogue you want. Copy the text from your dialogue just as I do here. Then paste it as I do in the client script. Basically, what the script is doing is playing the animation when the dialogue or prompt is displayed to the player. Copy the asset ID for your special animation and paste it into the script just as I do in the video. If you want to add another special animation during a different dialogue prompt, copy the following lines of code and paste them as I do in the video. As you can see in my script, in between each special animation lines of code, there should be an end separating them. Go to the info script within your NPC and copy the dialogue text you'd like the special animation to play during your dialogue sequence. For my other special animation, I'm going to have it play for the dialogue free prompt. Copy the asset ID for your special animation and paste it into the script just as I do in the video. On the local humanoid variable line, you can see the variable pathway is looking for the NPC within my NPC's folder, then searching for its humanoid within that NPC. The name of your NPC should be the same as it's indicated in the script for each animation. changing my NPC's name to OAV, but you can name your NPC whatever you want. The NPC's name will be displayed during the dialogue sequence. Replace NPC within the variable pathway for each animation with whatever you named your NPC. Because my NPC's name is OAV, I will be replacing NPC with OAV. Within the model, there should be a folder that contains the talking NPC. Move the talking NPC into the NPC's folder. I forgot to show this part, but also place the info script into the talking NPC. In the anim saves, you will find the basic animations I created for the talking NPC. However, you'll still need to create your own special animation for the talking NPC. These are what the animations I created look like, however, feel free to create your own. 
If you need help creating animations, I put a link in the description. Make sure your animations are core animations. This is the idle animation. This is the talking animation. This is the wave animation. on the three dots to and select Publish to Roblox. Then, hit the Submit button. Since I already have these animations, I won't be needing to publish them. But you should. Now it's time for you to follow along with me. If you get confused, feel free to rewind the video or leave a comment below. I also suggest going to this timestamp in the video if you need more explaining. Open the client script in the top UI screen GUI. Then open your toolbox, go to my animations, and find the animations that you just made. Replace NPC within the variable pathway for each animation with whatever you named your NPC. Copy and paste the asset ID into the asset ID under the idle or talking animation part of the script. Copy the asset ID for your wave animation. For each wave animation part of the script, paste in the asset ID within the asset ID part of the script. Copy the asset ID for your special animation and paste it into the script just as I do in the video. In the script, you can specify what dialogue prompt you want your special or specific animation. Go to the info script within your NPC. I'm going to have it play for the dialogue free prompt. the asset ID for your wave animation. For each wave animation part of the script, paste in the asset ID within the asset ID part of the script. If you want to add another special animation during a different dialogue prompt, copy the following lines of code and paste them as I do in the video. Here in the script, you can specify what dialogue prompt you want your special or specific animation. You can choose any dialogue prompt text within your dialogue sequence. Copy the dialogue text you'd like the special animation to play during your dialogue sequence. Replace the text by pasting the text after if dialogue.txt equals equals. You can add as many special animations as you want to the script. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. I put a lot of effort into creating this video, I hope you enjoyed part 2 of this tutorial.
If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.